a lot of people don't understand the type of rapper that I was pre everybody knowing Kwame the artist. I was a super lyrical dude. I was like super lyrical, battle, like I was not playing with people. But Herbie's brand was happy. Kid and play, salt and pepper, have fun. And Herbie, Herbie believed that harder hip hop would never make it. He, that was his thing, it's like, it's never gonna win. It's never gonna make it. You gotta soften it up. You gotta be more, you know, bring your personality because personally, I'm in the studio, we're joking, we're playing practical jokes, we're spazzing out on each other, but it wasn't, you know, like for example, if you listen to a song like The Rhythm, you know, I open a song, I came here for something funky to happen. I'm all like, but the original version is like, I came here for something funky to happen. Is this crazy? You know, and he was like, yo, chill, chill. Like, who, <laughs> who are you killing right now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so Herbie was more like, chill out, you know, be you, you know. And then I had this weird rap name, and then. What was that? <laughs> my rap Say the name. My rap name was The Sweet Daddy. Jazzy K, GQ. Oh, so I, I hold remember. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, Repeat that in one sentence. Sweet Daddy Jazzy K, GQ. So I remember one day going into the studio, and three key people were in the studio at the time. Slick Rick, okay. Dana Dane, Jay. and Salt. Oh, wow, okay. Ricky was there with Dana, so Rick really didn't have too much of an input, but... Dana was like, yo, man, <laughs> we need to talk to you. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, yo, man, that's the stupidest name we ever heard. Rick in the back laughing. Saul so was like, yo, man, like, seriously, you can't, you can't do that, man. <laughs> so Dana was like, I don't know anybody named Kwame. Just use your name. And I'm like, all right. And then, and then, Salt was like, yo, you're in here, you're writing, you're designing your stuff, you're writing up the, drawing the art for the album cover, you're making the beats, you're like a boy genius, man. And then that's what it turned to uh, Kwame, the boy genius. And nice. it happened all in the studio at that moment. And then I'm like, because like, as a, at this time, I'm like 14, 15, my idols were Dana and Rick. So I'm hearing like, <laughs> Rick in the back laughing, Dana getting on me, you know, Oh I'm crushing God. on salt. I'm like, oh man, they're all killing me. Man. <laughs> so you know, oh, it, it was that that studio environment. It was more of a family thing, and I was just like the baby, and it was just yeah. But they saved you. Because yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. That that, that might be a worse rap name. <laughs> yeah, than, that wasn't uh, than Magnum I'm the Verb Lord. I'm with you on that one, buddy. Right? Remember I'm Magnum? You, I'm glad you chose Kwame. Yeah, yeah. I'm hey, G, <laughs> yes. you remember Mad Skills told us yes. Pharrell's first rap yeah, name was yeah, Magnum, Magnum the Verb Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah that Magnum was, that the Verb Lord. Yeah. You may have beaten that, though. Yeah, yeah I think you topped that. Oh!